Hi, my name is Pat Macy Phelps. I'm with Data IQ, and today I'm going to talk to you about Data IQ's cool new integrations with Snowpark Container Services. First, a quick intro to Data IQ. Data IQ is a central analytics workbench. It's meant for all different types of people, whoever you are in an organization. It covers all aspects of the data science lifecycle. If I move my face a little bit, it runs on the three major cloud platforms and can also run on Snowflake, which we're going to talk about today. Cool. So we're going to demo an AML alert triage use case. So envision that we're a bank and an AML team receives a number of alerts and they want to figure out which of those alerts they should actually escalate for further review. So we're going to bring in a bunch of different tables all stored on Snowflake here, including past alerts data. Um, we're going to join um, our alerts data with some information about our accounts, market segments, and some other data sets. In this case, each of these yellow recipes, DataIQ is auto-generating a SQL query behind the scenes so that you can leverage the power of a Snowflake warehouse for the compute. Your data is never leaving Snowflake. But if you're a Python programmer and want to do some fancy feature engineering, you might want to use Snowflake's Snowpark Python. So in this case, we want to engineer a feature. Maybe my theory is that we want to compute the distance between our sender and our recipient, and maybe that distance has some predictive power in predicting which alerts require escalation. So here we're going to use a Snowpark UDF to do that. Um, again, the data is never leaving Snowflake. If we move along here, we just have some more transformations to continue cleaning up our data, computing lags and moving averages, other features that we think might be important to a model. And then finally, we end up with a data set and we have one record per AML alert and we have our target column, which is, is escalated. Was this alert ultimately escalated to the AML team for further review? And so we want to train a machine learning model to predict this column and maybe apply it to new data coming in. So now DataIQ has a visual Snowpark ML plugin so that you can train machine learning models on Snowpark. Your data never leaves Snowflake and you don't need to code Snowpark Python to do it. So we have a UI, you can select your target column. What kind of problem is this? What metric do you wanna optimize your model for? And then in this section, we're gonna select the features that we think are going to be predictive for our model. So maybe the email domain, the age of our sender, the market segment, the distance between our sender and recipient, all these features we think will be helpful to our model. And then if we look at these different algorithms, we can try out three different algorithms with a bunch of different hyperparameters. And when we click run here, DataIQ is going to do a model bake-off behind the scenes to see which model is best at predicting our target column. So DataIQ will automatically deploy our best model uh, in this case, we can find it and we can take a look at the importance of different features. So it looks like the amount, our segment, our distance are relatively important here. Take a look at feature effects. We can also look at a confusion matrix. So in this case, we see of our 400 escalated AML alerts, our model correctly caught 302 out of the 400. So that's pretty good. So once you've got your model, we can now deploy this model to Snowpark Container Services as a RESTful API endpoint. So we can either choose an admin defined preset here, or you can manually override the Snowflake database schema compute pool to host this model. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and run this macro. Okay, cool. So it looks like it finished running. We now have a URL where our model deployed on Snowpark Container Services lives. We've also auto-generated a UDF to compute predictions based on our model. So next, all we'd need to do is take our URL here and plug it into, say, the back end of a web app. And here we can envision our AML alert team interacting with this web app. Um, they can play around with the different uh, features, different input parameters, and see in real time how our model is changing its predictions. And again, this model is deployed on Snowpark Container Services. Another way to make predictions is if we have a table in Snowflake, you can write your own SQL query using that auto-generated UDF that we created, pass in the features, and see a prediction as an output. 
All right, so hope you enjoyed this video on the cool new integrations with Dataiku and Snowpark Container Services. I'm excited to see what you all build.